All right, so if you watched part two of my series, you uh, got to hear about the hard lesson I learned uh, not to not cheat on your diet. So stay tuned for more lessons in part three. All right, so the last time we talked, I left off and I told you about, um, I competed in a contest. I was, Unfortunately, I won my class, but I lost the overall, but my coach was very disappointed in me because he knew I was cheating on my diet and I didn't do the best that I could do. So that was a great lesson for me. I learned it at a very young age. So I want to kind of pick it up from there. After learning that lesson, I, I kind of buckled down and I still thought to myself, I'll be, in a pro in, I'll be a pro in a year or two, especially for my newfound dietary discipline, right? So. I, um, I wanted to see where I stood, so I went to Florida and I competed in a show called the Southern States, which is a huge show. Um, many, many awesome champions have won that show, and I also went to a show in New York called the Eastern USA, a show run by Steve Weinberger, um, who's head judge of the NPC and IFBB. And um, I went to those shows, I had high hopes, those were the biggest regional shows in the country at the time. It was my first time competing outside of Ohio, and if you remember, I was winning everything in Ohio. So, so I thought, well, you know, I'm going to go to these other places, and I'm going to place well. well. Guess what? I didn't make the first call out in Florida, and I didn't make the first call out in New York. So it was very humbling. It was very humbling. I didn't understand. I didn't understand how good the bodybuilders were. Um, and when I did the show in New York, there was a kid named Johnny Moya. Johnny ended up winning the Nationals either that year or the next year as a middleweight. He looked like a heavyweight, but he was a middleweight. He was so ripped and so hard. I don't think I'd ever seen anything like that. But it was, a, it was another wake-up call. It was, okay, maybe this pro card isn't going to be as easy as I thought. So, again, you know, I started to feel good about myself, and boom, I was knocked right back down. So I came back to Ohio. I thought, man, I got to get better. I, um, I got to fix the things that are wrong with my physique. Back then, I was real leg heavy. I didn't really have much of an upper body. So I knew I really, really needed to work on my upper body. So I was at Capitol, and I was uh, finishing up my degree. And I ran into a guy named Daryl Mayo, who became uh, one of my best friends. Daryl told me about these powerlifters over to a place called Westside Barbell. And I'd heard about them. You I mean, everybody in Columbus knows about Westside Barbell. That's the place where Louis Simmons had produced many, many champions. So I thought, what better place to go and get big than Louis Gym? And I had also heard Mike Francois was training Louis Gym. Mike was here in Columbus, and Mike was, I mean, Mike ended up winning the Arnold Classic. He was, he's the best bodybuilder ever in history from Columbus. So we all looked up to Mike. Mike was a, an awesome guy. And I knew Louie didn't like bodybuilders, but he liked Mike, and I was hoping he would like me. So my friends talked to Louie, and he said, yeah, have John come on over. So I um, started training at Louie's with guys like Chuck Vogelpool and Dave Tate and Kenny Patterson, George Halbert. I mean, all these world changing powerlifters, they're all big and strong, and it was just phenomenal. It was the most fun I think I'd ever had training. I loved it. And what I would do is I'd go to Louie's. Like on leg day, we'd do our eight sets of 10 squatting, or eight sets of two, I'm sorry, eight sets of two, our speed sets. Do maybe some leg curls, and then I'd get in the car, and I'd drive to the east side of gym, uh, or Columbus, so back over across town to the east side of Columbus, and I'd go to Worlds, and then I would do my leg presses, my hack squats. So I was doing like a powerlifting workout on the west side of Columbus. I'd get in my car, and by the way, my uh, workout, you'll get a kick out of this. So I had chocolate milk from, after I would train in Louis, I would have a half gallon of chocolate milk on the drive over to the east side. So then I would go over to the east side, uh, World Gym, and I would do a bodybuilding workout. So training at Louis, I definitely started putting on some size. Um, we did tons of reverse hypers. My lower back got a lot thicker. We did uh, a lot of real heavy dumbbell work for our chest, and that helped. And uh, things were going really, really well. I actually did a powerlifting meet, and um, I got first place in that. I was pretty happy. So I started to, started to gain some muscle, 
and um, think I was I think I was making the changes that I need, needed to make to kind of fill in all the gaps to my physique. So stay tuned for part four and you'll figure out where I went from there. <laughs>